Ableton Live is the number one worship leading software and learning how to master this software for your worship ministry is going to make the most significant impact on the overall quality of your worship gatherings from a musical and production standpoint and it's going to eliminate a lot of those distractions that take people's focus away from worship and why they're even there in the first place. A few years ago, I was leading worship at a mid-sized church here in Colorado, and I felt like our team, both the, the worship band as well as the production team, we just kind of had hit a ceiling and we're just sort of stagnating uh, in just the level of excellence that we could bring to worship. And that's when I first began considering using a click and tracks in worship. And there's lots of options out there for doing that. You can use some iPad apps that are really user-friendly and easy to do, but I wanted to learn a system that that had a lot more power and capability to it. And as I did some research, I learned that Ableton Live is the best software to go to run your click, tracks, and also automate production elements in worship like lyrics and lighting. I spent months, and not literally months, trying to figure out how to use Ableton Live, and it was just incredibly frustrating. I knew that this software was gonna be a game changer for my worship ministry. Heck, even the first Sunday that I used it, even though I stumbled through making it work, it, it was still a game changer just that first weekend. But over the next few weeks and months, I did more and more research and there wasn't really any good like step-by-step -step training systems out there to take me by the hand and show me everything I needed to know for using Ableton Live for a worship context. Because one of the problems about Ableton Live is it's not just for worship ministry, it's also for other areas of music performance and production. But anyways, I spent hundreds of hours figuring out a system that finally works for me. But I'm glad I stuck with it because now three years later, I use Ableton Live every single Sunday to run click tracks so our band sounds tighter, to run backing tracks so we sound more full. We also run Pro Presenter so we can automate lyrics and video. And then we also automate our lighting system so we can make some tasteful lighting design changes throughout the service. And it's all automated. We don't have to worry about anybody hitting the right button at the right time. So maybe you're a worship leader watching this and you never heard of Ableton Live at all. Or maybe you're a worship leader watching this and you have heard of Ableton Live, you tried using it yourself, but it seemed way too intimidating and you had no clue where to begin. Whatever situation you're in, whether you're brand new to Ableton Live or you tried it before in the past and failed, today, you can get started with an effective process that's gonna help you implement this number one worship leading software in your ministry at your church. In the description of this video, you can click a link to enroll in my free training, Lead Worship with Ableton. It's a four part introductory video training to help you get started with Ableton Live in your worship ministry. So click the link below, complete the form, and I'll send you instant access to the first training video. And then over the next couple days, keep an eye on your email inbox because you'll receive videos two, three, and four. My hope is that this video training series gets you started on the right foot with this incredible software for your worship ministry. And I hope it saves you a ton of time and headache. So click that link below and enroll in the free training today.